ladyfish, man. First fish of the day, and it's a ladyfish. What's up, everybody? Donnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm out here with my buddy Spence from Get Lift Fishing. He's getting picked up right What's now. up? Uh, we're just going to be throwing artificial first thing in the morning. And then, if anything, we'll switch to uh, live bait and target mangrove snapper. I'm throwing DOA shrimp right now. Um, what are you throwing, Spencer? Minnow, three inch minnow. Paddle tail action. Yep, paddle tail. All right. Not the target of species, but uh, we'll take them. First fish of the day. See ya. You will use those, Spencer. Nice. Nice job, brother. That's all we needed right there. One and done, baby. We found <laughs> them. Hey, it only took like eight hours. <laughs> For did. real. We, we've been struggling all morning long, man, trying to get bait. This guy knows where they're at. <laughs> He's like, let's go check out that sandbar. And they're here. Perfect. <clears throat> they're actually a lot bigger than they looked in the water. I, I mean, thought I thought they were gonna be like not usable at all, but they're snapper. Actually, well, inhale that, we'll guys. Get, we'll get that. Yeah. We'll get a fish on that. Well, sure, man. Heck yeah. Things are looking up, guys. Things yes, are looking sir. up. Yes, sir. Good deal. Guys, we just got to our first spot. Uh, we're gonna hit up this spot, and then we're gonna try fishing that pier there. But I'm just rigging up right now. We're gonna try free lining first. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna have to put a little bit of weight on there, probably a three eighths. Probably don't need a half out here, but we're gonna try free lining first. Let's see what happens. Let's drop a bait down there. Too easy, bro. They are schooling up, man. <laughs> first bait. I know you That's a keeper. Not just catch a fish with that. That's a keeper, Spencer. <laughs> in the box or not? Whoops. He's going in the box. In the boat. And into the box. You know, you think you would let your buddy finish rigging up before you start fishing. But on this boat, no, it's every man for himself. All right. Don't even need the chum, man. First bait I threw down. Come on, Spence. So fired up right now, man. Oh, I'm eight already. They love those smaller baits. Perfect. Perfect size bait for snapper. <laughs> what is this? A jack? Oh, the snook. Okay. Well, that's not a bad thing. A little guy, but uh, that's pretty cool. It's probably getting snapped and snook ate the, the greenback. What a greenback. This guy came out of the rocks, man, because I saw a school of mangrove snapper just circling my bait, and then this guy came out of nowhere and inhaled it. There's life, Spencer. There's life in the bait, bro. <laughs> it's, not, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Nice. This little trade off for a snapper. Yes, Think sir. you're gonna get a snapper and then catch a little snook? Not bad. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Pretty cool. These guys get up so big, man. It's amazing. All right, release. Peace out. Yeah, big one. One. Oh my god, they're like at the boat right now. Behind the boat. Well, I've actually never seen anything like this. Where they're yeah. this chummed up. They're chummed up, bro. Like I drop, I could probably catch one on that dead bait. I just dropped it next to the motor, and it's instant. It's instant. They are so fired up right now, guys. So many of them. There's some big ones mixed in too. All right, bait in, got eaten. <laughs> got eaten. They're not big, it but it, it is kind of fun. <laughs> We gotta get through the little ones first, I guess. Yep. At this spot, at least. I think we might have to catch 10 or 15 of these guys to get a keeper. Ooh. Ooh, shoot, dude, they snap. Seems like it's a little better. We're throwing back those times, but we're gonna throw them back. There's just gotta be some bigger ones in here. When you get to that 12 mark, that's probably like a 10 inch, even 11 inches, but as soon as you hit that 12, it starts to get sandwich material. Yeah. That's like it. Yeah. 
getting them fired up, guys. They're coming up. This is like probably 10 to 15 feet deep right here. Actually, find out how deep this is. Around 10 feet deep. Around. Oh, dude, look at that one. That was a big one. Dude, he caught me off guard. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, boys. Yes, sir. That's a 12 inch right there. Let's give him a. Dude, he stripped that drag. <laughs> so is this the spot where I catch him up here? Yes, sir. Okay. Send it. This dude came up. Ten. What is this, Ten feet deep. He came all the way up and he held that bait. That's a 12, 12 incher. Called nice. it. That's a solid one right there. He's bleeding bad though. Throw him in the box. All right, let's try to catch more of that size. It's a good one. Okay, fourth time to try. Nice. Get, get, get lift fishing. Get lift. Get lift. Solid one there. That's a keeper. Yes, sir. That's a keeper. I actually swallowed my hook, so I'm gonna go measure and make, make sure double double check. I think he's probably right around that 11, 11 and a half mark. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's almost 12. Okay. No, he's definitely 12, 12 and a half. That's bigger than mine. All right. Good Maybe stuff, that. Spencer. Let's try to get some more. Let's try to get a, a 14 inch or something, something that's, bigger. That's the goal for the day? 14? Yeah, that's We're the goal. We're almost there already, so. That's the goal. Uh-oh. That hook's still, bro. Uh-oh. Pretty decent. Keeper. That's a keeper there. 11 inch there. Oh, yeah. Look it's at that. There, I know. They've been it's eating like, good. Yeah. Pretty sick. In the box. Oh, he's pooping. Is he? He's doing a little poop. All right, guys, I just switched to a knocker rig. That's probably, that's a 3 8 Why not um, short shank hook? All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude, they are chasing him up. Look at him, look at him. Dude, that's insane. They're everywhere. <laughs> Fish on. Oh, there the it little is. cobia. The baby cobia. <laughs> That's cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. I was like, this is a huge snapper. Snapper. It's just a cobia. Well, you're ready for the biggest fight next to the bow you've ever seen. They do not give up. No. Three. Not even, I don't think. Maybe, maybe that. Pretty cool though. Yeah. Not a bad mic. <laughs> okay, guy. Okay. All right. No need for all this. Not this. Not not what we're after. <laughs> what is that called? That's a cobia. All right. There's our cobia. Good one, Spencer. Nice. Yeah, I'll try to watch those spikes. I know. They're so mean, like, they don't stop. Probably a point two. Yeah. Pretty nice. I've actually, I've caught probably five, six, seven Kobe in my life. I've never caught a keeper. Right there, those are the spikes. You yeah. want to watch out for those bad boys. Super sharp. Nasty, nasty mm -hmm. spikes. Imagine a 40 pound one stepping on that or it going nuts in your foot or something. Woo. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kobe. See you. Fun fight though. Absolutely fun fight. All right, let's try to get a snapper. Not a Kobe, unless it's 33 inches <laughs> at least. <laughs> Dude, he, look at this. I watched the whole thing. He was chasing the bait down and he ate it, but he bit it in half. He never actually got up to the hook. He bit it in half and I ripped it out of his mouth. 
Yep. That that little snapper is fired up. Pretty decent. Ah, uh, we'll let him go. Yeah. Probably nine incher there. A little nine incher. Not quite the right size. Nope. Better dude. See ya. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a good one. If it's a snapper, it's a keeper. Or just a good fighting small one. It's pretty close. What's our mark? 11 and a half? <laughs> this guy's got some meat on him. Oh, yeah. Keeper. Definite keeper. Fat enough. Yeah. All right, 11's our mark. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Easy guy. Chill. Oh, dude, he's 12 all day. Nice. 12 and a quarter. Switch back to free line. Another one for the taco shell. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty decent there. Ah, uh, ain't that big. It's a little, actually. We'll let this guy go. That's probably a, like a nine incher. Little guy. See him. Whoa! Whoa! He's got me wrapped, dude. What are you got a snook? Is. What is this? I don't know. He's got Six. me wrapped around all these pilings, dude. I mean, low and slow and steady is the way to go with pilings and stuff. You know, the more pressure you put, the easier it is to snap it. Yes, sir. But you know, we will snooker. see. Yeah, snooker smart. <laughs> it might be a grouper, dude. Might be. Yeah, that was a pretty aggressive throw. Coming out, it's coming out. Yeah, if you just pull slow, sometimes. Nice slow approach. Get it. Is it wrapped? Wrapped? Getting a little close, aren't you? Get this fish out of here, bro. Oh, yeah. It was snapper. Massive. Massive snapper. It might be a beaver, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably a gag or something. Shoot, that guy. That guy too. That's going to be a snook. That shake. He's out, he's out. I'll take a gag down on him. Dude, oh. the gag. Hold it, bro. Look at that gag. That's probably a 20 incher right there. It was measuring, actually. Look at that, boys. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Check that out. This dude got me rocked, wrapped around pilings. 20 pound leader, still got him out. Let's measure it. Uh, one. He is. 19 inches, 19 inch gag. All right, not a bad one. Look at that, the scrapes. It's got me wrapped around pilings, it's trying to dig. He did not want to come to the boat, <laughs> but you got him in the boat. He's short, you're gonna have to let him go. See ya. Spencer had, had a good point there. When you have a fish that big and he's got you wrapped around all these pilings, you gotta lighten that drag up and take your time on it. You have a better chance of landing that fish with light drag versus um, tight drag. Oh, mackerel. it's a mackerel. Dang. I was pretty excited. I thought this would have been a good snap. That's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I got a mackerel. 
Probably last year. <laughs> I give you a mackerel. Mackerel of the year, baby. Wow, the perfect release. Didn't even have to touch them. No macro slime, no sharp teeth. And somehow he didn't even touch my leader. It's perfectly intact. That's a wrap for us. We started out uh, kind of rough this morning, looking for bait. Spent like, what, hours looking Four for bait. Five, that, Four to five hours. And then we, we decided to switch to throwing artificial and then went to one of Spencer's spots at the sandbar and mm -hmm. found the bait. Found the bait, school, man. school of bait. I mean, they weren't big, you know, they're a couple inches. A couple, couple <laughs> inches, yeah. You could use two or three on a hook, they're that small. Yeah, but those are perfect size bait for, for mangrove snapper, inshore mangrove snapper. Uh, we did pretty good on them. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to check out Spencer's uh, channel, Get Lipped Fishing. I'll leave the link down in the description box below so you guys can check them out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>